Thank you, Madam Speaker. With all due respect to the Honorable Minister, he can't pick and choose what parts of Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change Science gets baked into the bill, what parts of the Paris Agreement he now refers to. I want to make it very clear, I was in Paris, I was there when we negotiated, it's very clear that the target for Canada for 2030 was to be ratcheted up, changed in calendar 2020. We are expected as a nation with a 2030 target to have a new one in place by the end of the calendar year. That's the Paris decision document. It's also very clear that if we're going to be grounded in science, it's true that IPCC says that we must have net new carbon neutrality by 2050. But to get there, they also tell us that globally emissions must be cut by at least 45% globally, no later than 2030. In other words, the heavy lifting in reducing emissions in this country must be done before the first target milestone year in this legislation. I can't vote for this bill as it now is, and I desperately want to vote for it. I, I appreciate to, I'm sorry, I have to give the minister the opportunity to answer. The Honourable Minister. Well, I thank the member for her question, and I certainly uh, thank her for her commitment to this important issue. Um, as as uh, I have said uh, in, in this remarks today, but also in conversations that she and I have had, uh, we certainly do intend to bring forward uh, an enhanced climate plan. Um, that is something that I've said very publicly. So uh, to her initial point, absolutely, yes, we do intend to move forward with, a, with an enhanced plan, um, building on the great work that was done uh, on uh, in the pan-Canadian framework. Um, and certainly we intend to move forward in a manner that uh, will enable Canada to be an important participant in the international conversations on climate change. We are committed to that. We will, uh, we will continue to move forward in that direction. But, uh, but I would also say this bill is, a, is an important step forward. And I think if you look at the reaction from many, not simply in industry or labor organizations, but environmental organizations, including Ecojustice and the David Suzuki Foundation and Equiterre and a whole range of others, this is an important step forward.